Welcome back, everyone. Good morning. You are watching A Morning, and we are taking a look at Suzanne Husseini's new cookbook. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank in you. In Bloomingdale's. In Bloomingdale's, yes, That's of all places. So Dubai. exciting. Yeah. Just a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Yeah, yes. you're a very busy girl. Yes, indeed. Based, you live in Dubai. I do. You're from Ottawa originally. Yes. You, Your career is, is amazing. You're all over the world. I have been uh, very <laughs> blessed, yes. I've yeah. had the opportunity to meet uh, wonderful people, wonderful chefs, and do what I, I love, and that is cooking. You can tell. When yeah. we were talking about the recipe that we're just about to make, and you can, the passion radiates from you. So oh, yes. what are we making this <laughs> Morning. We're making something in Arabic called fettet hummus. Okay. Which fettet. is hummus, you probably recognize the word. Okay. Hummus actually means chickpeas mm -hmm. in Arabic. So I'm going to do this very traditional dish that would be eaten at breakfast time. Okay, perfect timing. Okay, yeah. I'm ready for breakfast. So I do it in a sort of non traditional way as well, and I like to serve it individually. So I've okay. done some uh, Arabic bread here that I've made into croutons already. You can either okay. fry it or bake it. How did you get them into little spirals like that? Well, you know, that's uh, my secret. Oh, gosh. It's just the way you cut the bread. It's <laughs> okay. just Okay, you okay. cut the bread. It's no big secret. <laughs> and then what I have here is mm -hmm. a little bit of just pure lemon juice mm -hmm. with a teeny bit of garlic that I just put on top, not intending to lose the crunch, just to bring the flavor down. Enough. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I've just warmed up some chickpeas. Whole chickpeas. Here. Whole mm -hmm. chickpeas that are going to go on top. So I'm essentially making a little parfait. A okay. savory parfait. Okay. A nice layered breakfast dish. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, to top it off, this is going to be my sauce, mm -hmm. and I'm going to start with yogurt. Okay, so we've got plain yogurt. yogurt. Plain yogurt. Now, would it make a difference if I wanted to use a low-fat yogurt or something like uh, that? You know what? I don't believe in low-fat, no-fat anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish we were all as blessed as you, my goodness, to keep that figure. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, you know, I think you should eat everything, mm -hmm. and I think you should eat, uh, eat it in the right quantities. I'm putting in garlic here okay. along with tahini. Now, what tahini, tahini. does... Okay. Tahini is the sesame seed paste that is often in, um, you see in hummus. Okay. It gives a nutty taste mm. to the yogurt, all right, and the garlic gives it that nice little pizzazz. Okay. All right, and then this will be my sauce that I will drizzle on top. Ooh. Okay, so it's sort of like a little sundae. Okay. And then, of course, Arabic food, if you're not familiar with it, is all about the nuts. Okay, I'm not all overly right? familiar with okay. it. Okay, no, we love nuts. So you add on these beautiful toasted pine nuts oh, on top. That gives nuts. it a nice buttery crunch. Mm -mm. And then we're all about color. So we had a little bit of green with pistachio the nuts okay, that have also been toasted. The mm. And then, of course, my jewels I never go out without. Okay. And these are pomegranate seeds. Okay. They're not rubies. But no Can't one. afford rubies. <laughs> right, right. And, and pomegranate <laughs> seeds are actually, and correct me if I'm wrong, very rich in antioxidants, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. So this is health. Because this is. Uh, that's yes. right. I see our own yes. Leanne Lang eating these for breakfast in the morning. And I know if she's eating it that yes. it must be a good part. You're you. doing the right thing. So voila, this is it. Fata tamos. You eat it with a spoon. Okay. And you serve it individually. Or or you could even do it family, family style as well. Perfect. Let's, uh, um, let's please try. try. While you're trying and telling me how you like it, I'm going to whip up the next dish, which okay. is really the same thing essentially, but a different way or a different take on it. Okay. So I'm going to just add a little bit of tahini to this yogurt. Mmm, that crunch. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add chickpeas. Mm -hmm. Okay, again. And what I'm doing here essentially, how is it? Tell me. So good. Is it love? <laughs> I'm busy shoveling my face here as you continue <laughs> to cook. Mm, the crunch of the little bread uh, crumbs. Yeah. Did you say that you fried them? Uh, these I fried, but mm. you can toast them. Mm -hmm. So you've got, you know, the, the buttery sweet nuts, mm -hmm. you've got the tartness of the uh, pomegranates, and then mm -hmm. you've got the sweetness and the tang mm -hmm. all in one. Now we have about Half a minute left. Half a minute. So, all right. are the two recipes that you're making up here, can they both be found in your cookbook? Yes, that's all in the book. This mm -hmm. is in the breakfast chapter. Mm -hmm. And look at how fast I'm going to do this. Now, I've already toasted some um, Great. pita mm -hmm. bread that I've chopped. So, I've essentially mixed everything up in here. And this is a nice little hors d'oeuvre or okay. a canapé. So, I'm essentially doing the same thing. Only in a bite size Only snack. in a bite size. So, do away with the chips and serve your friends and family something like this that is healthy Perfect. and delicious. That's going to fall because I've, la I've filled it to Great. the rim. And before we go, Suzanne, where can people find your cookbook? Uh, it is available exclusively at Mid-East Food Center on Great. the corner of St. Laurent and Belfast. Nice mm -hmm. people there, lovely. You have everything you need in uh, Middle Eastern groceries Great. there. And they are selling my book in Arabic and in English. Great. Well, we have lots more to come from you. We'll see you a little bit later in the show. Yes. We're going to take a quick break. <laughs>
the uh, breakfast dish that Suzanne Hussini just cooked up. Amazing. Smells Chickpeas good. with yogurt. Oh my gosh, she can find the recipe in her cookbook. All right. I can't wait for her second uh, segment, crepes, walnut filled crepes. Really? Ooh. Oh, excellent. And she's uh, lived a very international life so far. That's right. She lives in Dubai. She's from Ottawa. She travels all over the world, um, is on various uh, uh, cooking shows, uh, presentations, different uh, uh, food festivals. Lovely wow. woman and amazing chef. We'll check out that. Back to school fashions with Lacoste. Mm -hmm.